Today, we talk about... So, welcome back, episode X. Still uh, lost on this, because i uh, got a ton of these I've done this week, so uh, and I haven't edited them yet, so uh, I think you're number 30-ish something. Okay. Uh, another special guest, introduce yourself, sir. I am uh, Andrew Casertano, and uh, I do stand-up comedy. <laughs> and, uh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah, I want to talk about it, because um, let's connect. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen you like twice this week, uh, as it happens. Uh, trust me, I wasn't stalking you. I just, just you're all over the place. Nice. Um, and uh, and yeah, I, you have a very interesting uh, act, which I also want to get into. But why don't you tell us about how, when you started, how you started, who inspired you, all that kind of stuff. All right. Well, I started like seven years ago, and okay. uh, I was a big George Carlin fan. So I think in, when I first started, I wanted to be him, right, right, and I right. tried to be him, and then that didn't work out. <laughs> uh, so uh, a couple of years went by, and then um, I came from improv and acting and oh, stuff okay. like that. Yeah. So like um, in college, you mean? Yeah, pretty much. Before okay. that, I was into yeah. Okay. But like pretty much, yeah, college, into acting and improv, and then I eventually got into stand up. Um, yeah, but I was into Carlin, and then I eventually found my own voice. I was very self-effacing when I first started, very depressed. Um, th- you know, thinking that would make pl- people laugh, right, but. Right. Uh, you know, it, it was awkward at Just first. more sad than funny. Yeah, it was more <laughs> sad than funny for the first two years, for sure. And then I think I started fi- I started finding like a little rhythm. Like it, it started with my foot. And I remember, um, I even remember, you know, uh, Usama was there during a mic one day and he saw my foot tapping. He was, dude, your foot's tapping, you know? <laughs> and uh, it just slowly started tapping. And then eventually I had a bit where I just started like stomping and like, that's how it started, this musical thing. I just started turning right. bits into like a, a song. And then about a year later, I discovered that if I hit the mic, I could be heard everywhere. Because yeah, yeah. there were bar shows where you wouldn't pick up my foot. Right. So, um, so yeah. So then I started tapping the mic. So it is fun. Every now and then I'll do a show or a mic where the mic stops working and I get to go back to my room. <laughs> and, yeah, I was going to say, man, you have one of the most unique... Mm. styles of comedy I've ever seen um, and I think that's super dumb man. it's so cool that you found that yeah. um, thanks because uh, you know branding is everything these days uh, well always I guess and um, and yeah it's cool to see because like dude especially these last two shows I saw you were killing me I was like yo this is not that you weren't at the other time I saw you, but you know it was a bar show. It's that harder bad, to yeah. do. You, know? you saw me at two. Good, those were two really good shows for me, man. They were fun. They had audience, and everybody was into it. Dude, know? it's the first and only time I've seen at a live show a uh, applause break. So, oh wow! So it's kind of cool. It's yeah. awesome, man. Yeah. <laughs> and multiple of them at that. Like every song got an applause break. That's yeah, so cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that feel like to just be in the zone and just be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, it's it's a great feeling. I but there's a lot of nerves going in before. I right. I, I think that's part of uh, you know why I am uh, so weird up there is that I have a lot of uh, angst and anxiety yeah. going into it. Right, so, right. Uh, but yeah, when I get that, it feels so good because then it allows <laughs> me to let it lock in and get comfortable with an audience. I mean, okay, I can take them here. Yeah, I can take yeah. them there. Do you come in prepared with like, uh, maybe something you haven't tried yet and you're like, all right, if it's going well, I want to try this tonight. Uh, yeah, the problem is I, I uh, had to take a little break last month with work. So I'm like, with shows, you'll see probably me doing the same exact set right now. But uh, but yeah, I want to start get start trying some new, if I have to do 15 minutes, then I'll probably have to throw in some new bits. But okay. if a bar show is like, the ones that you saw me at this week were eight to 10 minutes, good audience, I want to give them the best yeah. show. So I don't even want to try some new stuff, but yeah. So I guess the answer to that is if you give me more time, I will try some of my new bits at mics that are working. And that's why I do mics during the week to try some new shit. Out. Yeah. Uh, how often are you getting up? Are you still? I'm assuming you're still doing open mics and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm probably you know in the seven to ten range. A little less right now because of work. I I just started working uh, these last few months, which is a new thing for me. I'm usually not working doing <laughs> lots of mics, but uh, I've been working a lot more lately. So what are you doing? Um, I started working as a locations assistant for oh, HBO. Nice, yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Isn't that kind of a sweet gig? It is a sweet Yeah, it's like, you know, it's still minimum wage, basically. <laughs> I mean, a little bit more, but you get a lot of overtime hours and it evens out to a, a decent rate. I started as a unit PA last month on a movie and then I was able to sort of 
parlay into locations assistant, which was cool. Nice. Um, yeah. Where are they sending you? Uh, I'm Anywhere working cool? in New Jersey right now Better. for a show. So a new show coming out next year, and I'm uh, just in different locations in New Jersey. Nice. Yeah. And where'd you grow up? I grew up in Brooklyn. In Brooklyn, okay, yeah. got it. And you say you're a Knicks fan, right? I was, you yeah. Were. I was a big Knicks <laughs> and Mets fan. I gave up on sports. I, I gave up on sports a few years ago. I, do, I think... It's too many tears. Yeah, with the Mets, it was just too much. <laughs> and then comedy took over, thank God. I mean... So one good thing about comedy, it t- took me away from the sad <laughs> boys, those sad boys with bats. That's what the that's who the Mets are. I liked all the bad teams. Like yeah, the Knicks were my favorite team in the '90s. So when I saw those Ewings, I was very excited. Uh, but I was more excited for the Akeem Olajuwon just because of the coloring. I just like the that coloring. There's something about that red and white. It looks uh, very good. Yeah, those Houston Rockets colors, or at least their old school colors. I like them. Yeah, uh, yeah but, uh, some decent taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, did you um, actually? I, before I forget, I want to ask you about your uh, Instagram story. Yeah, those yeah. wacky things. Like, what, yeah. <laughs> is there thought? What, what's the thought process going into those? And I'm not immune to doing wacky posts yeah, myself, yeah, yeah. but like, I, I want to hear like the inner workings of it. Uh, well, uh, as soon as they added music videos, I just love music, so I'm usually inspired oh, okay. by music. Uh, so that's pretty much it. It's usually I make those at night. I usually. Um, Take a little bit of Ambien and uh, <laughs> you know, and then it makes me very lucid, and then I don't care about oh, being okay, in front yeah, of that. Yeah. yeah, that's that's the that's the key. You know? <laughs> if you guys are listening at home, if you want to make good Instagram videos, just find a little bit of Ambien. Don't take too much. <laughs> take too much, you go to bed. But right before it knocks, not knocks you out, but makes you tired. It, it gives you this like thirty minutes of lucidity, and then uh, you won't mind putting has, it has that ever inspired I'm assuming you watch them back the next day just to know what the fuck you did yeah but. sometimes I forget I'm yeah. <laughs> cause yeah it, and then when you're looking at it does that ever inspire like a bit you want to try or um, cause I know they're kind of different styles they're, they are they're very yeah. different they, yeah one yeah they're just they're I think that's why I like the story so much they're so random and they have nothing to do with me they're just like <laughs> these, these quick little things that you should give it a character name I guess you do, right? Lonely boy, right? Yeah, he's yeah. the. Lo- I mean, I'm a lonely boy. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of which, oh my God, this uh, fucking roast, roast masters. Yeah. Yeah, the roast thing on YouTube. Definitely check it out if you haven't. Just type in Andrew Castaneda. I think it's like yeah. the first result, actually. Um, but yeah, man, that roast you did was super dope because it wasn't even like a roast roast. Yeah, yeah. And I'm a big fan of that because my favorite roasts. Ever or two, uh, Norm Macdonald on Bob Saget's and then uh, Andy Samberg on, um, who was it? Why oh, can't I remember? Oh, God damn it. I, uh, who cares? It's your favorite. Yeah, well, he was the one doing the roast. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I didn't, who cared who it was about? But, um, yeah. but yeah, his roast was like one of these like meta roast, anti roast. Okay. Like, it's not, oh, a, yeah. it's not a roast, it's just like him being funny, but like still kind of roasty. Okay. Yeah. So, so you kind of fit that same category. Yeah, I was yeah. dying. Um, oh, thanks, man. Yeah, man. Especially because it was against uh, Caitlin, and yeah. uh, and I never actually met her before until that night of your show, and yeah. then she, she fucking crushed it. Oh, uh, yeah, the she's fuck? a star. Yeah, yeah I'm glad uh, she got on late night recently, and then yeah, so the, a lot of people started viewing that roast again because they're like, oh, let's check her out and see what else she's in, you know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so yeah, it's actually super good for you, I think. Yeah, yeah, it was great. Yeah, <laughs> um, but those roasts are so yeah, they're really weird and uh, they can be fun, but I think uh, you know people take them very seriously yeah, sometimes, right. and I don't think they have to be that serious. Right. But I get it. You're, right. you're trying to like you know outsmart or be cooler. And <laughs> to me, it's not about being cool. It's about it's to me. I see it as a character battle. So me versus Caitlyn. It's the lonely boy versus the tough chick, you know, who can beat up men but likes to have sex with them. You know what I mean? That's 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 those are the characters, and it was a great clashing of characters. Yeah. You know? I mean, so yeah. yeah it's pretty good. Did you prepare all those bits beforehand for that? Or? I did, but okay. some of those things, like, uh, I didn't know we're gonna hit so hard, like the stay away from my family. <laughs> 
when I heard people really lock into laugh, laughing at that, I, I kind of played into it more. Yeah, I played, right. So I didn't know I was going to be as weird, but then as people started yeah. to uh, kind of react to it, I played more right. into it. Veteran move. Right Veteran there. move, yeah. baby. <laughs> I might not make any money in comedy, but I know my audience is. <laughs> That's dope. Yeah. Yeah, so um, what what else are you doing uh, outside of comedy to, to keep busy, if anything? Um, I mean... I'm working, and uh, I uh, every now and then I book acting jobs. Uh, I don't have an agent, but yeah. So every now and then, all auditions and all yeah, that. Yeah, you stuff. know, most auditions now are um, all done online, which right. is really not fun for me because my whole thing was I liked going into an, a room to audition. It's but I haven't had one in months. So uh, but every now and then I'll book like a corporate gig. Oh, and, nice. Uh, but for the most part, just working and doing comedy. That's gotcha. my life right now. And, uh, you know, um, just uh, visiting my parents every day because <laughs> they live uh, down the block. Uh, in Jersey? No, they live in um, Brooklyn. Oh, so you still live in Brooklyn? I still live in Brooklyn, oh, yeah. So you're just working in Jersey. Okay. Yeah, I'm working in Jersey. I'm a Jersey bully right now. Nice. <laughs> and then... Um, I like how you. I guess it makes sense if you have an actor background because I can see like breaking into different characters during yeah. events and stuff, and it really all plays well together. So that's really cool. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, how are you? Um, how are you approaching like uh, which shows you do slash? Or I, I want to get past at this club or like. Yeah. Are you like in a goal oriented mode, or are you just like you know what? I'm just gonna keep getting up there and just I, keep doing my thing. I should be more goal oriented. Some of my friends who are starting to do better now. You know, try to push me, uh, but I'm not like, you know, some, I, I should make a website. There's things I know I should do, but I mean, the biggest thing I did this year was me and two other friends, we went out to Boston and we did some comedy and I got a really good tape out there and nice. I realized that comedy is so much better outside of the city. Here, <laughs> it's just like, there's too many shows too and there's not enough audience, but you, you leave, you go to a smaller city like Boston and they're there and they want to pay attention and so... I, I would like to do more stuff like that. Uh, I'm just trying to get my life back together because I was like not working for a while and uh, I was being an extra sad boy. But uh, now, yeah, so um, I think this year I'm going to try and maybe apply to some festivals and uh, try to, I don't know, man. I just want to make it in comedy. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, two things with that. The first thing is, um, uh, oh, the festival thing. Have you done one before? Uh, no. Okay. Yeah, I haven't either, and I'm kind of like, eh, should I do it? do it? Should I not do it? You know, because they cost money. Sure, sure. Not that that's a problem, but it's like, then what if you don't get in? Like, it, I've only been doing this six months. I think I'm funny enough, but, like, who really knows, right? So, yeah, I mean, it's kind of weird, so I, I, don't, I don't know the process, but. Well, no, that is the process. I mean, you know, you're still uh, trying to find out who you are. I would say in the next six months, uh... I would say do it. Just go for it because it's a good networking opportunity. Yeah, I go, figure at the very least, right? Go way to meet people. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, it gives you, uh, puts your name somewhere else and then you start to, yeah. I mean, it can't hurt for sure. There are bad festivals that I hear of, but, um, you know, I think if you just check Facebook or, you know, this is something I should do too. Just Google uh, festivals and then you ask around and see if they're good or not. Right, right, um, right. So, and then my second part was, uh, yeah, you mentioned, you know, trying to make it and all that stuff. Uh, social media, man, I feel like most comics really underutilize it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you said you got a good tape out in Boston. How come it's not up uh, on any socials? It's on YouTube. Oh, and, is it? And I put it on my Facebook. Okay. Yeah. I don't have a great, uh, despite being very unique and funny, uh, <laughs> I'm just very, I'm not good at putting, promoting. And so I don't have a lot of uh, followers and likes and I don't know, man. There's a freedom to that, too. I don't really... But I would like more following, I guess. Um, but yeah, I put that tape on YouTube. I got some likes on Facebook, and but it hasn't been viewed that much. Yeah, it's weird, because uh, you know, obviously I YouTube your, your stuff, and that I didn't even see that come up, let alone your channel, but I'll have to look a little closer. And oh, we'll yeah, plug definitely. it in the description for oh, everyone yeah. else to check, check it. Me out. You definitely highly recommend this guy. This guy... One of my favorites, for sure. I can do at least 10 minutes and probably <laughs> more if you give me an opportunity. But uh, Yeah, because don't forget, I um, you know I, I do the doctor thing out in Iowa, so that's actually where I started oh, doing really? comedy. And, uh, and every couple of weeks I go back, so it's almost like okay. refreshing to go back because there's real crowds, it's, you know, people are trying to pay attention. Yeah, blah, yeah, blah, yeah. Blah. Uh, to some extent, you know. So you practice in Iowa? Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow, cool. So um, so when I'm out there, it's like, 
it almost feels like I'm booked on a show because like you know regular people are there you know people yeah. are there to have a good time they're not burned out from like 8,000 open mics a day well so. you have an advantage of being doing New York comedy and going out there it's yeah. a smaller town it's it's yeah you'll, you'll see the difference and yeah. you'll see yeah you'll see the people that show up to mics and shows out there it's just different yep. it's just yep. Yeah, and, and even my cohorts out there, they notice the difference in me. They're like, because every time I go and come back, they're like, holy shit, man, you're getting way better at this. Because yeah, there's right. only two open mics out there a week. Wow. It's like two an hour, That's you know what I'm saying? It's <laughs> right? such a different world. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, there's pros and cons, I'm realizing. Like, you know, those guys, I mean, they're still miserable and suicidal, am I right? But uh, aren't we all? So, yeah. uh, that's, you know, I don't. I think that's just genuine to, to comics, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um Although I'm not really suicidal, I've had the thoughts here and there, oh, yeah? but it's, it's not like, uh, it's not as bad, quote unquote, as I hear a lot of comics make it sound. I think a lot of comics just like to dramatize it to make them seem, themselves seem more uh, edgy. edgy yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I definitely have suicidal ideation. I think, I think I, I've never tried to kill myself, but when I get to go through fronts, I definitely think about it a lot like I don't want to be here and I always imagine myself jumping off the Triborough Bridge it's very specific <laughs> um, funny you laugh because many times I've walked over that bridge just to see <laughs> just to view where I could you know end it and uh, yeah but uh, I think it's worth talking about but I think some people dramatize it like if I'm not feeling depressed I'm not going to talk about it interesting so, you know. And then uh, when you're walking over the bridge, yeah. is it just because you're feeling those things or you just happen to be around the neighborhood or something? Uh, both. I mean, yeah, there's usually a mic near there. So uh, QED uh, oh, okay. is close just there, to, yes. yeah, 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 it's about a 10 minute walk from the bridge. And uh, yeah, if anything, just walking over that bridge is a good, great place to cry. Uh, yeah, it just lets it out. It's not <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead and laugh. This is comedy, right? Uh, hey. Good place to cry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, just, it's because there's no one there. It's just cars going by, and yeah, you can. There's not too many places in the city you can uh, let loose. Nice, so maybe a little serenity there. Yeah, cool, cool. yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, Maybe I'll check it out. Check it out. QBD. Just don't jump. Uh, <laughs> you know, because it gets better. Right. That's what they always say. It gets better. I mean, the closest I got to suicidal thoughts was uh, just back in high school because oh, A, okay. it was high school, right? And yeah. B, um, like obviously doing the whole doctor thing. I was studying hard. I was, you know. Yeah, yeah putting pressure on myself to get amazing grades and scores and whatnot. So I, I remember just like being in, in front of a book and I hate reading, man. I'm so jealous of, of kids now who have access to YouTube and all these countless online content stuff because like audiovisual is more my thing than reading. Like I just can't stand fucking reading. Right, right, it. right. So um, I remember just being in front of like a bunch of books and I'm on my floor, I'm not doing anything and I'm just like, you know, how convenient would it be to just die right now? And then I wouldn't have to study. Like, that's that's as far that's as I took it. Oh, that's not bad, man. <laughs> I mean, I didn't even feel it in high school. Because high school, like, at least, the, it, I don't know. I, I, I guess I wasn't studying to be a surgeon, so it was easier for me. But uh, That's the thing. I feel like I just had, like, my you str- struggle in the beginning. Yeah. Know, and not having any context of life or whatever. There you go. Not that most kids do. And then... Uh, and then now with, you know, this, this kind of helps, right? Yeah, but, yeah. you know, you just still get lonely nights or down days where you're just like, what the fuck, man? Yeah, yeah, And, yeah. Uh, and the view isn't cutting it or whatever, but, um, but yeah, man, I, I sense that with comics in general, whether it's here or Iowa, but uh, at least out there, man, it's like everyone sticks around to the end of the show, everyone's yeah. having a good time, hanging out uh, during the show, if not after, and, uh, you know, they're yeah. just not burned out like, you know, they are here. Right. So. And I actually talked to another comic who happened to be rotating through there to do a show, and uh, he got to start in Indiana, so he was telling me kind of a similar story. And it was even worse, it sounds like, for him, because uh, at least where I'm at, there's one in Cedar Rapids where I practice, and then there's one, and literally right around the corner from my hotel, which is convenient. And then the other one's in uh, Iowa City, which is about a 30-minute drive, so okay. not bad. Des Moines is the capital, it's about two hours, so eh. And then there's a few others that are scattered about an hour, hour and a half in multiple directions, so it's just like, uh, I don't know if I'm going to make it. Do you rent a car out there? Or you have they, to... My agency actually covers my airfare, rental, and oh, hotels, wow. so it's pretty great. Yeah. That's great. Um, on top of paying me a premium, so it's... Uh, it's yeah, a good, that's, good that's, situation. It's really great. Um, and but then it always, I always think back, like, damn, man, would I be taking comedy more seriously if I didn't have this? Would it push me more? Well, yeah, it's definitely would. a unique uh, thing to do. There's not too many uh, surgeons who are pursuing comedy, <laughs> so yeah, it's definitely well, an advantage. But yeah, you have uh, 
you have the time constraint, but you, then you're still taking advantage of it when you're in Iowa. Right, so, right. Yeah. hey, listen, you're doing your thing. Yeah, I'm looking at the silver lining of it because, uh, you know, when I'm here, I'm wishing I'm there. When I'm here, I'm wishing I'm back. Yeah. So that's that. But, yeah, the Indiana guy was telling me how, like, yeah, there was only, like, three to four open mics he had opportunities for, and they were all scattered all over Indiana. Yeah. So it's – it. He put in a good perspective for me. He's like, yeah, it kind of forced me to be better because I was like, dude, this is all you got this week. So yeah. you better fucking – Write some yeah. good jokes, you know. So, whereas here you get the whole, eh, what do I want to try out today? Man, maybe I'll just get up to get up type of attitude. Yeah, which, yeah, uh, yeah. You know, obviously every comic is different with their work ethic and styles or whatever. Sure, sure. Um, yeah, man. Uh, are you doing any shows? Um, yeah, I mean, here and there I'm doing like. Um, Little shows here and there, but nothing consistent like on a weekly basis, or you don't throw your own show. I haven't. Like no, I, I am going to start one soon with actually some musicians. Who, oh, uh, right. Yeah, yeah. They um, they have me as like the comedy portion, nice. so I'm going to be booking the comics, nice. and then they're going to be putting in their weird uh, alternative music <laughs> in between. Nice. Uh, which you know I would leave the room when that goes on uh, it's not for me but it's beautiful that they let me book I said listen I do the comedy and I get the fuck out of it said, um, but do yeah you, do you know other comics like yourself because I don't but oh uh, I mean in, I know, in terms of similar styles I've never met anybody who does the way I do. That's no. yeah. That's no, something. I've seen comics who pull up a ukulele on stage. Oh yeah, but. yeah. It's totally different. It's yeah. not as fun. I mean, you, you know, because those come across more like, hey guys, I'm going to perform a comedic song for you. Then it's yeah, the comedic it, song, which they're great, but it's definitely nothing like your style, which is like part um, acting, part characters. Yeah, part, all right, a, now we're jumping back. Yeah, we're blending. Yeah, I like yeah. to blend it in. Uh, no, I've never met anybody even close to me. I am the only genius <laughs> in New York. I mean, there's some other weirdos. Like, Steve Gerrard is probably one of my favorite alternative comics. I just okay. love watching him. Um, he was hosting that show yeah, the yeah. other night. Uh, yeah, there's a few others that are uh, unique, but nothing even close. Gotcha. Hey, yo. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say, man, that's, that's uh, another reason to just keep pushing that social stuff, uh, social media stuff, because, uh, you know, once people do find it, um, they'll be like, oh, shit, I've never seen anything like yeah. this, which is what you want, right? Yeah. So, especially in this one. I think I'm slowly making traction as long as I stay. I mean, each year I'm like a little, I, can, I feel like I'm getting a little bit uh, better shows, but it's very easy to flatline, so I don't know. I, I have to figure out ways, new ways to push myself. Right. I was going to say, I've, I've never seen you bomb, but like, yeah. uh, and, uh, obviously it happens yeah. to everybody. For so sure. when it does happen to you, how do you handle that in the course of the well, chaos that you're doing? It is there? weird. I do get uh, one thing, a, a physical thing that does happen is I get caught in mouth. Because as I hear the audience laughing less and less, <laughs> I actually lose confidence and I, I can't talk. So something physical does happen. I, I just power through. I mean... Uh, the last week I did a stoner show where it was like one in the morning and people were like the guy in the front row was like, <laughs> so it was like I was set up to bomb but I still hated the feeling it doesn't feel good I wanted to storm off but I've had a lot of experience knowing stay with it you do it I ended up doing 11 minutes I got a very few laughs and then as I was leaving the guy paid me 60 bucks and I go okay this ain't so bad I, can, I don't mind bombing if I get paid 60 dollars right. uh, so yeah so but uh, deep down inside, it's the worst feeling ever. But I know that I can't let it get to me because right. it'll make me stronger next time. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. next show, people will be listening. And so, yeah, it's like suicide. It gets better. <laughs> you know, it's like life. Yeah, uh, so you legit will just do your whole act similar to what you were I'll doing just keep doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't switch. No, okay. I'm not going to be like, well, what should I do now? Would, I, I'm not... You don't those, do any kind of additional crowd work or anything crazy. Either. Maybe I'll go, hey, what do you... Yeah, but I'm not good at crowd work. I can't... I don't want to talk to people. <laughs> that's really why I'm not good at it because I don't want to do it. Yeah. So I just do my act and I power Get through it. Fuck out of here. That's all I can do. Fair I mean, what do your parents think of your comedy? You said, is that part uh, of the act that they've never seen the show? Or they've seen real? me. I've shown them clips oh, of what okay. I do. I showed them my set in Boston because it was really good. And they go, wow, that was... Because... It was an undeniable set. Crowd was laughing hard, so I had to show them this. And they, they had not acknowledged it. They're not that big into it. They don't understand it. Right. Uh, they're, they just, they're more concerned with me working. As long as I have a job, they're like, you can do all the comedy you want. Just work. Because, yeah. you know, I was living at home for a while, and that's a real thing. And so it was hard to convince them that comedy was healthy for me because I wasn't, you know, I mean, I was paying them rent, but 
uh, I was living at home in my 30s, so, you know. Uh, yeah. Hey, so was I up until uh, July, so. Yeah. And then I moved here. <laughs> nice. Well, you're doing good, man. Yeah, dude. I mean, I, I don't, I think the shame with living at home isn't really much anymore. Um, I mean, I, I did it for all through med school, residency, fellowship, mm-hmm. specialty training, so saved a fuck ton of money. Hell right? yeah. No, that makes sense. Um, luckily, my parents didn't charge me rent, so that was cool. That's but, cool. Um, I just paid off the rest of the mortgage, so that's... Oh, that's great. Paid them back, you know. Oh, that's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, I, I could never pay them back an equal transaction, right? But, sure, uh, sure. But, you know. I, that's pretty equal to me. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's... it's uh, but yeah, I mean, I... I, I I don't. I don't get the sense that it's it's used much as like a, a ridiculing thing, but maybe just because I never saw it. I don't know. Well, yeah. I mean, you were studying, and so you were doing your thing. You weren't being a you know a bum about it. You were being. <laughs> do you get that sense from people when you interact with them, or do you hear about it, or whatever? Like, what? I don't know what your experience been with living at home. Yeah. And then your social. Well, most people thought there's like, hey. You know, keep doing it. You're saving money, so most people were actually encouraging. Right, about I, it. I would think that would be the answer. Yeah, no right. one was like looked down upon. Oh, it. I yeah, can't yeah, talk yeah. to you anymore. Right. But it was nice moving out last year because you know uh, it was embarrassing to like tell girls that I lived in my parents. <laughs> you know, yeah. yeah. Did they not take it well? Uh, well, they weren't really around, but uh, oh wait, who am I? No, you're, you're, the girls you would talk. Oh to yeah, them. yeah. No, th- there weren't too many girls to talk to about it because I just wasn't uh, hooking up that much. So. But yeah, I mean, now I've had the experience of taking a girl home, and that's nice, you know, so that always feels good. Does that happen also with shows? Because I feel like you're very no, charismatic at... it doesn't. I'm not, really? No. I'm surprised I, by that. I'm, uh, I'm a, like, I usually well, you fall do... in love with one girl for the year, and then I put all, <laughs> you know, I, I get tunnel vision. Gotcha, and, gotcha, gotcha. Um, so yeah, that's never happened. Interesting. Uh, well, I mean, I was going to say, uh, thinking back to your set, you do incorporate a little bit of like creepiness to like, you know? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So, um. No, I mean, I do, I should utilize it, um, but I don't hang, I don't really drink and hang out. And I, once I'm done with the show, I like to leave. Right, right, right. Um, so that's something I probably should work on, but, uh, yeah. you know, whatever. Uh, as long as I'm getting laid a couple times a year, I'm okay. <laughs> Just gotta keep booking those shows. That's all I can handle anyway. Yeah. Uh, that's too much. I like my alone time. Yeah, no, I, dude, I'm, I'm with you there because uh, sometimes I'm just like, bro, I cannot wait to sit on that couch yeah. and just not talk to anyone. I don't, I don't care who's texting me, calling me. Yeah, this. I just want to be here. I love them, you know? Yeah, it's, it's definitely a thing. Um, I don't know. Is it better than being an extrovert? Or you know, it's, I don't know. I guess I the healthy balance is the best thing. For sure, I think so too. Yeah. But, uh, uh, but I do appreciate you came out and talked to me. That was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks for having me. But yeah, man, why don't you plug your stuff? Why don't you tell us where we can find you? Uh, I would just go to my Instagram, uh, Andrew Let's Connect. Um, uh, you can find me there, or uh, sometimes I post on Facebook. But usually Instagrams, I'm more active there. Right, so. Yeah, I've noticed. Um, do you post your shows on there routinely? Uh, sometimes okay. I, I don't have a lot of only the good ones. Um, but Facebook usually I I, I, I like the dates I mean. Um, yeah, sometimes I do. Okay. All right. So yeah, the good ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Got it. Um, yeah. Or if you happen to be at an open mic, you might see him. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. So, uh, yeah. See you guys next time. Bye.